Okay, cancer immunotherapy is a very uh, new uh, therapy for cancer patients. Basically, the idea is to use the patient's immune system to fight the cancer. And the drug, the purpose is to boost the immune system in the cancer patient. So the immune system can figure out where the cancer cells and to destroy that. All the work starts with the uh, beautiful blue spot we saw from the play. Each of the spots actually represents a bacteria virus. So this virus only infects bacteria. It's very safe for human beings. The, after that, we select, we randomly select some of the blue spots and then we amplify to get a sequence of this virus. So from the virus sequence, we can translate into a peptide sequence. Once we get a peptide sequence, we can do the modeling that you see uh, from the computer. Uh, the binding of the peptide to the protein, we can see how it binds to that. And then we select some of the peptide uh, sequences, we synthesize that. We use a peptide synthesizer to synthesize the peptide. So after that, we have to purify. Purify the peptide so we can use that for uh, some in vitro studies. Then we use the cancer cells. We catch the cancer cells and then we incubate the peptide with the cancer cells to see whether it has some uh, anti-tumor effect for those cells. So that is the whole story for, the, for this kind of discovery. Because even though they are students, but they have their own expertise, they have their own interests, so they can contribute their ideas into the research. At the beginning, uh, they will learn a lot from the coursework and from our lab, but eventually with time, I try to train them as, a, as an independent scientist, so they can independently design a project and uh, conduct a project and write a paper. So that's the whole purpose. So with time, we become friends, and even after they graduate, we keep friendship. And whenever we have good news, we share each other. And sometimes I just call them to learn some new things from them. They become my professor. <laughs>